feel all right. You know, it's uh, I think it's definitely you know not not bad for the first one. Um, you know, as a competitor, we all like to we'd like to go out there and um, you know have the results that, that we all desire. But it's not the reality of things, especially this early in my my rehab stint. Um, I think it was a solid place to start. It was nice to get back out under the lights and have some fans in the stands atmosphere again yeah yeah it was cool um i had a, a lot of sweat going so being being familiar with the florida state league um you know you kind of have that wet hand and it, it's all a part of getting through each start and battling and uh you know just getting my feet wet as far as being back in organized team baseball you mentioned the results but how'd you feel with all your pitches and how your stuff felt it's getting there i mean i think um uh, over the last three weeks, it's I've taken steps in the right direction with certain pitches, and you know I think the arm strength and endurance, uh, they're all, you know, taking taking each start, and, and hopefully we're getting more strength and endurance out of it. And does each step from sim games to extended to Florida State just make you a little bit more eager to get back? Yeah, um, you know nobody. It's not a comfortable place to be on the DL. It's it, it definitely can make your mind start to do a lot more wondering than you're used to. So. Having said that, um, very excited to, to get back to the team whenever that may be. We, you know, we're playing well right now, um, and they're having a lot of fun. I know on the road, so um, that's always on you know in, in my mind. Um, but trying to take small little victories like you know tonight, is happy with some of my off-speed pitches, um, and so kind of try to focus on those things as well and not get too far ahead of myself. Have they given you any indication of your schedule going forward? Starts you'll have, anything like that? No, no, really. I think it's, uh, you know, we'll evaluate here in a day or two and, and see where I'm at. Um, I know we are on a 30 day clock, but um, it doesn't have to be. So we'll, we'll be able to find our way through this and hopefully, you know, in 30 days, I'm very close. And how many pitches and things do you think you'll go next time? Do you know? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think we'll probably. S I don't know. You know, I was at 50 tonight or something, so I would assume there'd be a little bit of an increase. Um, hopefully enough to get me through three next time. But no, it's it's not as fun, you know, as pitching's been when you want to go three and you have a pitch count and that, that doesn't happen. But there's still enough things today that happen that um, you know I can take away and say that I know that from my previous two or three outings that that pitch wasn't like that. That command wasn't there. The feel. Um, so I, I had, um, you know, some small victories tonight out there. Let's talk about the last 13 months from surgery to, to now. I'm sure it's been long, but um, now that you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, tell me what it, tell me what it was like rehabbing. Like last year, we see you in the dugout a lot. So you were hanging with the team a lot, but you still had to get your rehab in. Yeah. I, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to go about it as far as how you want to rehab your injury. and. You know, my teammates were pretty much the, the, the reason why I came back. Um, you know, we have a great medical staff, so that was, um, you know, cherry on top as far as wanting to be around my teammates, still being able to get quality work in. Uh, 13 months, it's actually not a long time unless you're waiting for something. Um, you know, it's it doesn't seem that long ago, but since I've been on a mound and I've been wanting to compete, it's absolutely been a long time baseball, you know, talking about it in baseball terms.